Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the top 10 restaurants in Los Angeles. You're probably thinking, how could you name only 10 if there are hundreds of great places around LA? That is very true, which is why I spent a long time thinking about what would be some really great restaurants to represent on this list. So just for the sake of making it easier, I decided to limit this to the city of Los Angeles, so not Los Angeles County as a whole. And I'm going to basically choose one representative restaurant from every cuisine or food type to fill up this list. So stick all the way to the end of this video if you want to learn some really awesome, and I mean awesome restaurants that you must try in Los Angeles, whether you live here or you're planning the visit. And also if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because it posts these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now, and let's get started with this list going alphabetically with number one, Anajak. The list starts with the stellar hole-in-the-wall Thai restaurant in Sherman Oaks. LA is really known for its outstanding Thai food, with so many options to choose from. But if you want to try a truly unique one, go with Anajak. Yes, the food is pretty pricey, but that's because Anajak is more of a fine dining experience. Anajak is known for its traditional Thai menu selections, but also some innovative foods like the Thai-style southern fried chicken, which is pretty outstanding. They're also known for their Thai Taco Tuesday, where you can get elevated tacos done Asian style. And it gets even better, they have an omakase menu as well. It's not exactly the most traditional Thai food, but I found the food to be very tasty and I think you will too. Number two, Bavel. This is a famous Middle Eastern restaurant in downtown Los Angeles that specializes in upscale, modern Middle Eastern and Mediterranean cuisine. It's not exactly one country cuisine, but a creative mix of different cuisines in that region. But the end result works very well. The ambiance is nice here, and the food is just as fantastic. I would recommend the mushroom kebabs, which are mind-blowing. I get this every time I come here. The hummus and baba ganoush are also very good, as well as their lamb neck shawarma, which is tender, crispy, and smoky. And if you love shrimp, go with the grilled shrimp. This is not a cheap eats restaurant, so definitely go for a special occasion. Number three, Bestia. This is one of the most popular Italian restaurants in all Los Angeles. It's not the most traditional, straight out of Italy Italian food, but still, it's very good. This modern chef-driven take on Italian cuisine is pretty magical, as just about every dish at Bestia is a knockout, which is why I've been there quite a few times already. For one, you definitely need to try the pizza, some of the best Neapolitan pizza you'll eat in LA. The roasted bone marrow pasta is also pretty killer, especially if you love that rich taste in your pasta. The mussels with clams are also something I get all the time because it is so addictive. And if you love fish, the whole roasted branzino is the way to go. You really can't go wrong with any of the dishes here. Number four, Chispaca. This is a contemporary steakhouse owned by Nancy Silverton's famous Moza Group. Los Angeles has many great steakhouses of all kinds, but Chispaca is definitely one that stands out. This dinner spot serves some of the best steaks and pork dishes you'll eat in LA. They are really known for three things, which I get all the time. The focaccia de reco, which is really the best I've ever had, just mind blowing. You also need to get the bone marrow meat pie, which is so rich tasting that it's really a great item to share. Then of course, get your steak or pork chop. Both of them are fantastic, it's just your preference. Chispaca is another restaurant great for a special occasion, a restaurant I've been to quite a few times already. Number five, Hayato. This is a Japanese restaurant located inside the Rose Shopping Center in downtown LA. What makes this Japanese restaurant special is that they are one of few in LA that offers kaiseki, which is very much like omakase, but more than just sushi in the course meal experience. And many say Hayato does it the most authentic way. As you can tell, it is an expensive meal at $300 per person and hard to get reservations, but many feel it is well worth it. Hayato is also known for serving some of the best bento boxes in Los Angeles, which is also a fast selling item at this restaurant. So if you are looking for a very elevated, fine dining Japanese food experience in LA, then Hayato is definitely one to consider. Number six, Holbosch. 
This is a Mexican style seafood restaurant located in the Mercado Plaza in South LA. It's one of the food stands in a food hall. Don't think that this is your typical food court meal. It is some of the freshest and best tasting seafood you'll find in all of LA. There is a reason why everybody loves this place. The smoked kampachi tostada is the way to go if you love tostada with a Japanese twist. But I would highly recommend the octopus taco, which is one of the best I've had in the Mexican restaurant. For something heavier, definitely go with the wood fire branzino, which comes with rice and beans. Every dish I've had at Holbosch was a knockout, which is why you need to come here if you like seafood done Mexican style. Number 7. Jongyuk Jam This is an upscale Korean barbecue restaurant in the heart of Koreatown. There's so many Korean restaurants that can easily fill up this list, especially K Barbecue. But if you are looking for a standout option, consider Jongyuk Jam. This restaurant is pricey, so definitely for a special occasion. They have all your traditional Korean barbecue favorites like marinated short ribs and beef brisket. But what makes this restaurant unique is that they are one of few Korean barbecue spots in LA that has dry aged steaks. Their biggest attraction is their 50 day dry aged tomahawk that runs for $280. Definitely for the high rollers. But it is some of the best beef I've ever had. Here's another restaurant I go to occasionally because the food is really that good. Number 8. M Grill. This is a famous Brazilian steakhouse located in Koreatown. Many say that this is quite possibly the best Brazilian barbecue steakhouse in LA, and for good reason. The interior design of this restaurant is stunning, and it is great for a fine dining occasion, and great for groups. At $75 a person, it is one of the priciest all-you-can-eat meals in Los Angeles, but you'll get treated to some really nice food. Everything from the salad bar selections, to the 15 plus choices of meats, Chicken, seafood, it's all there. Even nice big bar with many drink selections. This is Brazilian fine dining at its best. There's a reason why I've been going to this restaurant countless times. So if you are looking for a Brazilian steakhouse, make it this one. Number nine, Moose Craft Barbecue. This is a Texas style barbecue restaurant located in Lincoln Heights. Many say that this is the best Texas barbecue you'll find in LA very close to the taste of what you'll find in Texas. This restaurant has pretty limited hours and oftentimes sells out pretty fast because the food is fantastic. The beef brisket is pretty killer. The pork ribs are flavorful. The cheddar cheese sausage is just like the ones I've had in Houston. And the pulled pork, just blissful. Be sure to also order their sando, particularly their beef brisket sando, because they are very popular here. Everyone loves barbecue, so this is definitely a safe spot to go if you want it Texas style in LA. Number 10, Providence. This is one of the most acclaimed fine dining restaurants in Los Angeles, located in Hollywood. It's an American restaurant with a French twist, known for its posh ambiance and equally fancy food. It's a pretty simple yet expensive tasting menu at $300 a person, with wine pairing that can be up to $275 extra. As you can see, it's not a casual eats place, but for a very nice occasion, you get what you pay for. Their tasting menu is very seafood driven, everything from sashimi to prawns, with an option to choose steak as your main entree. But taste wise, it's pretty much all on point. Delicious. So here is one of those restaurants you should consider if you love fine dining and seafood with a French twist to it. And to throw out a bonus, Kato. This is one of the newer restaurants to jump onto the LA food scene. It is categorized as a Taiwanese restaurant, but I would say it's more of a modern take on it. But it's definitely very upscale, so not your hole-in-the-wall mom-and-pop place. Much like Providence, Kato offers mainly a prefixed course meal, which starts at 170 and goes all the way up to 275. All served pretty French style as well, but the flavors are pretty explosive. This restaurant will give you a new impression for how elevated Taiwanese food can get, and you'll walk away from here pretty wowed. Here is another spot to keep in mind for your next special outing. Well, there you have it with 10 really awesome choices that you can eat at in Los Angeles if you wanna try some of the best foods. Of course, there are a lot more that I could have added to this list, but if you wanna start with some really magnificent options, then you cannot go wrong with any of these 10. So what about you? What do you guys think are some of the absolute best restaurants to eat at in Los Angeles? 
drop it in that comment section. I would love to hear your suggestions. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. You know what to do, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.